Epidural injections are very common treatments for people with low back pain and sciatica. Here's a story of a 96-year-old lady, not surgical candidate, been getting periodic injections. We do L5-S1 in a laminar, which is, if you look at the model, this is looking at somebody from behind, back of the head, tailbone. This lower part is L5, and this is the sacrum, so that's S1, uh, the sacrum is S. So L5-S1 is that opening. It's gonna feel really cold, okay? I'm gonna wash the back here. This is chlorhexidine. It prevents infections. She gets a L5-S1, which is right in there, in a lamina, which is a direct technique in the middle, epidural steroid injection, and um, it helps her with her pain. We'll show you how it's done. I'm marking a spot, okay? Nice breath in and out. We're using an x-ray machine to take some pictures, and I can see that opening down there, which is the L5-S1 window, in a lamina window. We're gonna do a cold spray, which is numbing the skin. We're gonna use what's called a two-way needle, which has a little hollow in it for me to put the medicines in. And here's a little needle stick. I'm gonna put more numbing medicine. This is 1% lidocaine we're gonna put on the skin. And we see that x-ray picture showing the needle, which is the black line heading towards our target spot. I'm gonna guide this needle. I'm gonna use something called a loss of resistance. Let's me know I'm in the epidural space. And as I get closer to the epidural, here's a little pressure. That let me know I was in the epidural space. There's a loss of resistance, meaning as I put some air into the needle, when it's in the epidural space, there's a change in resistance. This is the dye, Omnipaic. So if we look at the x-ray picture there, you'll see it light up, showing me a very specific pattern, telling me that I'm in the right spot. Now we're going to take a different view. The sea arm is moving to give me an oblique view of the same area. And I'm going to put medicine in, and this is dexamethasone, 10 milligrams that I'm putting in. We are done. That was an L5-S1 in a laminar epidural injection. The 96-year-old lady has a long-standing history of low back pain, radiating pain down both her legs. The injections give her relief, allows her to walk, function. She's able to do her stretching, strength and exercises much more effectively after the injection and have a better quality of life.